All right, so we're going to go ahead and install Ruby on Rails in Ubuntu. And we're going to use something called RVM, which stands for Ruby Version Manager. And basically, it's used to manage Ruby environments. Okay, so uh, gems and uh, interpreters or, and things like that. So we want to open up a command line or a terminal. Alright, and the first thing we want to do is make sure everything's up to date. So we're going to do a sudo apt-get update. Okay, once that's done, we're going to install curl, which is a command line tool to um, send and receive data uh, through different servers using a specified protocol. So to install curl, we want to do sudo apt-get install curl. Okay, you want to do yes. Okay, once that's done, we're going to install RVM using curl. So you want to do a forward slash curl and tack on this L tag. And then the, the protocol we're going to use is HTTPS. And we want the URL to be get.rvm.io. Uh, okay, and then we're going to do this pipe character. And then we want to say bash s and stable. All right. Once that's done, you want to uh, actually close out of the terminal and open a new one. And you want to type in source, um, source, and then the home directory. We can use this tilde character. And you want dot rvm slash scripts slash rvm. All right, and next we can install the dependencies, which is really easy. We're just going to say RVM requirements. And you probably have to enter your password. And this could take a few minutes. Okay, once that's done, we can go ahead and install Ruby by using RVM install Ruby. And when you install with RVM like this, you can actually have more than one version of Ruby installed uh, on your machine. Okay, so once that's done, um, we want to specify the version. We want the default version, uh, so the latest stable. So we want to say um, RVM use Ruby default. Okay, and we're using version 2.1.3. Okay, so you should have Ruby gems installed, but you just want to run uh, RVM. Ruby gems and current. All right, and then we can install Rails using Ruby gems. So gem install Rails. And this could take a few minutes too. So now you can see it's installing all the documentation, which uh, takes a while. All right, so that's it. Um, now it's just to make sure everything's installed, we can say Ruby V, which is 2.1.3, and Rails V, which is 4.1.6. Okay, so that's how you install Ruby on Rails 
on a Linux Ubuntu machine.